Mining Weekly Online is talking to Chris Sturgis, General Manager, Commodity Derivatives of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Chris, the JSE is now talking about a coal futures market. If I'm a coal miner and I want to sell uh, coal that's still in the ground, but I'm going to mine it in April or May next year, and I want to hedge, and can I sell it at a fixed price on your exchange? That's the, the function of that futures market, spot on. We're not a spot market. Yes, we get to a spot market when there's delivery. But the idea of the futures market is one year out, six months year out. If the market is trading at a price that you see, hang on, this is an opportunity to lock in a price for that standard contract size. You can go in and sell the contract, but obviously, again, it's a function of liquidity. So you need to find a willing buyer. Um, um, and as soon as you've got a willing buyer at that price, you are then locked in and guaranteed that price for, let's say, a March or an April next year. You need to make sure you can do is get the coal out the ground, make sure it, reach the, it reaches the quality spec, and you would then be able to honor your contract come March or April next year. But this is now helping the miner with some long-term planning. This is going to be a great tool for the junior miner to actually even have access to finance to be able even to roll out uh, and honor their obligations. We decided to go and bring into the market a physically settled futures contract. So you find internationally uh, there's two ways of settling a, a derivative contract. You can either cash settle or you can have a mechanism that allows for physical delivery. By running a futures market we need to have price convergence. And when we say price convergence, that's when the futures contract expires sometime down the road, that needs to be a price that reflects the spot market, the physical market. And um, so internationally, there's a number of exchanges that use an index provider who then phone around to get uh, pricing from a number of traders, and they would then average that price, and that's the price that the futures market closes at. What we thought of, let's go the route do the effort and, and see if a physically settled contract could work. And that would mean giving those guys who are involved in the coal market to have a mechanism to go to delivery if they so wished, or to, to be able to take delivery. So allowing for that physical delivery puts some discipline uh, into the system. Uh, the minimum lot size that we are selling is uh, 500 tons. Physical delivery it brings the integrity to the pricing. Domestically, we use an enormous percentage of coal for our energy, yeah. and uh, it is stated that coal is key for the economy, and the government is looking at it as a strategic commodity. We don't foresee um, the futures contract in any way disturbing what is already going on. We are just here to create a platform and it can only work if there are willing buyers and willing sellers on this platform. And we argue that uh, this is just going to complement whatever is existing in the, in the South African market. How we've designed the product is a week before expiry, anyone who has sold a futures contract needs to give us evidence that they've got pre-qualified coal at the mine. The brokers stand good for all their clients' trading activity. We really have a final product now that, um, that, that is answerable to the market. Will you stop it becoming a casino? The fact that we move into a physical delivery mechanism is really what brings us closer to reality on the ground. The reason we, we've come this route and decided to, to attempt a derivative contract in the coal space goes back to about two years ago when one of the physical brokers, London Commodity Brokers, approached us and said they see a need in the coal space for um, more transparency around trading activity but also a tool in which they can manage price risk. A and that's why I guess we've seen an opportunity, let's take our platform, which allows for trading, guaranteed um, clearing of all trades, and extend that into a coal market. 